Okay, for this project, I'm using a size um, H five millimeter crochet hook, and I'm using a Red Heart Super Saver, and I'm using Caron Simply Soft. Just a couple mix and match yarns, but they're both uh, worsted weight acrylic. And we're going to be making these little um, triangle things. And you're going to need a total of eight of them. So to make them, you want to start off with the chain of four. And then we'll slip stitch into our first one to form a ring. And then we're going to chain three. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So we want to go back into the ring and do four more double crochets. So one, two, three, four. So counting that chain three, we have a total of five double crochets. So now we want to chain two and go back through the ring and do five more doubles. One, two, three, four, five, and then we want to do another chain two. One, two, and now we want to go through the ring and do five doubles again. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to chain two again. One, two. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first, the top of our first chain three. And that will close that round out. So what we have is three sets of five double crochets with a chain two in between them. So now you want to chain three again. One, two, three. And now we're just going to do a double crochet and each stitch across. And you can change colors as often as you like. So you don't necessarily have to follow my color scheme. You do it any way you want. And now when you get back to a corner here, or a chain two space, what you want to do in each chain two space is two double crochets, a chain two, one, two, and then go right back in and do two more doubles all in the same uh, chain two space. Like that. And then we'll work our way across again, put in one double crochet in each stitch. But you want to make sure after you do your corner here, Pull these back. You want to make sure you get that stitch right there. Sometimes it gets hidden underneath these and if you don't get it it's going to turn out crooked so you want to make sure you get that every time. So just continue across put in one double crochet in each stitch and I apologize my kids are probably being really loud in there. I can hear them. They're excited. They got some kind of new they play Minecraft a lot and they got something new on it so they're all excited about it being loud but that's okay and when you get to the corner again you want to go and do the same thing you want to do two doubles a chain two and then go back in the same spot and do two more doubles like that. And then we'll work our way across again. 
one double crochet in each stitch. Remember to pull that back and make sure you get that very first stitch here so it doesn't go lopsided. like that. Now we're in a quarter again and we just go in it and do the same thing. Two doubles. A chain two. One, two, and then two more doubles back in that same spot. And then we're back at the beginning again. So what we want to do is slip stitch into that beginning chain three to close that round off like that and then we'll chain three again and we're just going to continue doing the same thing across double crochet in each stitch and then when you get in the corners it's two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in each of the corners now you can change colors as often as you like to change colors at the end of the row I just I always tie off completely, tie my color off, and then I start fresh with a new color. I think it makes for a cleaner um, color transition when you tie off after each color. But some people don't. Some people just slip stitch their new color through, and you can do it either way you want. But I'm going to continue doing this, and I want to do a total of five rows. So right now I'm working on my third row. And when I get done, it'll be like this. One, two, three, four, five rows. And you do them however you want. I made them, some of them different. One, two, three, four, five. But they all got five rows. And you need eight total. I don't know if I said that before, but a total of eight. And then we'll, I'm going to go ahead and finish mine up. I got a few more to do. And then I'll show you how to sew them together. I got all my squares done. And I always just kind of stretch them out here a little bit. Get them kind of shaped up. And before I show you how to sew these together, I'm going to show you how to make um, the body real quick. Ugh. I got one half of my butterfly done already. But this. I'm going to show you how to make this part real quick so we can just sew it on all together. Now you're going to need to make two of these bodies, one for each side. And you want to start with a chain of 36. And once you get your chain of 36 made, you want to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch. And then we're just going to double crochet. One double crochet in each stitch along the chain. Just like this. And you want to do that until you get to the end. One in each stitch. Okay, I made it to the end after that row of one double crochet in each stitch. And I'm here at my last stitch. And I, what I want to do in my last stitch is I want to put seven double crochets all into the same stitch. In that very last one. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, all in that last stitch. And now we're just going to start working down this side. So after you did that seven, you kind of already turned it for you. And now we're just going to work along putting one double crochet in each stitch again until we get to the other end of the chain. Get back to the other, again, other end again and I'm getting ready to work in my last stitch right here and what I want to do in my last stitch is I want to do five double crochets in that last stitch. So there's one, 
two, three, four, and there's five. And now I'm just going to come over and slip stitch into the top of this stitch, very first stitch right here. Like that. And so that's what it kind of looks like. Sorry for the dark yarn. Now what we're going to do is, after we slip stitched, we're going to go and chain one. And now I'm going to work a single crochet in every stitch along the chain again. Just one single crochet in each stitch. along put in one single crochet in the top here and now I'm down here to the end to where we put seven double crochets on the corner on the last round remember we did seven now in each one of them seven you want to put two single crochets in each one of them so two in each of the seven so you'll have a total of 14 single crochets going around the corner here one more to go in here so two in my last one okay once I get two in each of the seven stitches from the previous round I want to go ahead and just continue again putting one and then once you make it to this end of one single crochet in each stitch um, I'm down here where I put the five double crochets at the corner you want to go ahead and put two single crochets in each one of these five. my last one here and then you want to slip stitch into the first single crochet and then you can tie that off and then you'll have sh uh, you need to make two of these bodies and let me hide this tail real quick and I'll show you how to sew it all together First you want to kind of play with it and lay it out um, the way that you want it. Now when you lay it out, you need to make sure The, the ends like this so you can it's rounded like that so the ends are together so sew it right here crossed and you want to make sure these are even on both sides I apologize my workspace isn't very big but you want to get it lined up It's about like that, where you, when you, I already got this one sewed, I just sewed right along here. But, so when we sew the other piece of this, it's all even. We can just go right down the side. And you want to do the same on this side. And this piece is overlapped a little bit. And then what we'll do is sew this up too. And then we can add our body. And we put him about right even down here pretty close to being even across see I have this one sewed up already 
You can see how it was even along the sides. They're pretty close to being even. And then a little bit, it was pretty close down here. So it gives it a round, a round, uh, a round look to it. And then, um, I'll sew this on. I'll show you how I sew these on once you get it. Um, kind of sew it about the same spot. Like right here, I sewed it at the bottom of the third row. You can see. So I kind of want to do the same on this one. Right about there and keep it lined up at the same time. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but... And when you get it where you want it, I always put a pin in it to kind of just hold it. And then I just sew it with my yarn needle. I'll go up from the bottom, just like this. And just set that to the side and go right back down. And back up. And right back down. And I'm going to do that all the way across. But I want to make sure that I'm not wrapping over this. I'll show you what I mean here. When I go back through, I come up underneath that stitch. And then back down beside it somewhere. I don't want to go over the top of it like that. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I go down below it. Because when this part's sewed on and the body's all sewed on, I'll go show you on this one. Um, and I'll single crochet um, at the top of this to give it a little bit of a dimension of a different wing to make them separate a little bit. So you want to make sure that when you're sewing it, you're still able to get a crochet needle in the top of these stitches. So you just don't want to go over the top of them. Just down below a little bit. And I'm going to do this all the way across. This piece like here. Okay, now I'm going to sew my body on. And just kind of put it a little bit like this. There'll be a little bit of a gap down here. But you want to line this piece up down here pretty close. If you can. And then we'll just sew him on the same way with a yarn needle and some yarn. Just going around the whole piece and you can pin it on if you want. I'm just going to do it the same way that I did the other ones. So I'm going to go up, sew it on this side, and then I'll just go down this side too. Once you get your uh, big piece all sewn up, the body sewed on, and the wings sewed up, now I'm going to go around the entire thing with a row of single crochet. So you want to start with the right side of your work facing you. And you can start anywhere that you want. I'm just going to start, doesn't really matter, right up here. Go in and go through the slip knot on your hook. Chain one. Now I'm going to go across working one single crochet in every stitch around the entire length of the piece. And when I get in these corner stitches right here, I'm going to do three single crochets and 
and then I'm going to continue working on single crochet in each stitch. And then when I get over to here, I try to do my yarn split. Try to do my last single crochet. I just want to go ahead and grab onto the body piece and single crochet. And then I'm just going to single crochet around the top part of it like this. one in every stitch and then when you get across your body here across the top part of your body just jump over and grab onto the wing again and continue putting one single crochet in every stitch and you want to do this all the way around the entire length of the piece until you get back to the beginning now we're going to sew it together and I'm going to sew it together right side facing me and I'm just going to leave from this corner to this corner open for the top so I'm just going to start right up here in the corner here. And go into corner piece back here. Go through that slip knot that's on my hook. And now I'm going to go through and match my stitches. Oh, I'm going to single crochet my bag together. I'm gonna, I went through that stitch, that first stitch, I went through the slip stitch on my hook and then I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to go right across and single crochet my bag together. Matching stitches. just like this. I'm going to do it all the way around until my piece is completely sewed up except for the top. So just like that. Okay, I got my bag all sewed up. Got the top open still. Now I want, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I'm going to go around the wings with a little bit of edging. But if you like it better clean looking like this, that's fine. I'm just going to start up here in my last, uh, where my single crochet was. And single crochet through the slip knot on my hook. Like that. And then I'm going to do a chain. A four and then I want to skip two stitches and single crochet in the next ah my yarn splitting try that again chain four 
skip two stitches, single crochet. Chain four. Skip two stitches and single crochet in the next. Chain four. Skip two, single crochet. So you got these little loops. I made that little edging until I got down to the end of the swing and I stopped here at this body part and then I'm just gonna flip off and then hide this veil and I'll hide that in just a little bit but now what I want to do is go back up here I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I'm doing and I want to do it over here too until I get to here and I'm not doing it on the body part down here just the size of the wings but then when I get done doing this on both sides, I'll go ahead and show you what to do next. Um, start with a slip knot on your hook again. And we're going to be working in those chain four spaces. So you can go ahead and just go right into the first one. And slip stitch through that. Uh, stitch on your hook. Now we will do a chain one and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet, a double crochet, a double crochet. another double so that was four doubles oh. and then go back and do a single crochet so that chain one kind of counted as a single crochet so what we're going to do in each chain one space or each chain four space is a single crochet four doubles and then another single and then we'll just jump right over to the next one and single crochet and then you do four doubles one two three four single crochet like that jump right over to the next space single crochet four doubles and then another single crochet so it's single four doubles single in every single one of these chain four spaces and then we jump over to the other side and we do the exact same thing over there so both sides match because butterflies always have matching sides so I'm going to go ahead and do this down this side and then I'm going to finish it on the other side. I got my edging done on both sides and now I'm working on handles. Um, I just, I'm going to do two short handles and I could, I'm going to show you how I did this. It's real easy. But you can do any kind of handle you want. You can do one short one, one long one, two long ones. You can buy handles. It's really completely up to you. It's your bag. But if you want to do it like mine, I'm going to set this to the side and I'll show you how I did it. It's really easy. You just want to start with a slip knot on your hook. And then I started with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then one single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one and turn, one single crochet and each stitch across. So all this is is just rows of single crochet. Chain one and turn and go across again. 
I did a total of 50 rows for mine, but you do as many as you want for however length you want your handle to be. And then when it gets as long as we want it, I'm going to fold it in half and sew it together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and then I'll show you how to sew it together in just a second. To get your rows made, I got 50 rows made for each one. You can do more. Um, go ahead and pull a long tail through. And then put your, uh, load up your yarn needle at the end of it. And now I'm going to do is go through, I'm just going to fold it, my handle in half. And I'm just going to go through and stitch the, stitch it together like this from the sides. I'm not going over the top, I'm going from side to side. And now just make it appear to be a little thicker. I guess it will be a little thicker because it's getting folded in half. But So I just want to do this all the way down. Just keep folding it and keep sewing it on both handles. Okay, once you get your handles made, just go ahead and sew them on with your yarn needle. Um, try to get them in the close to the same spots. So I'm just going to use my needle. I gotta sew in some tails still but sew it on like this. And you just sew it till you feel like it's tight enough. I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing this on and then I think I'll probably be done with my bag. Now if you wanted to add more details to it, you could. It's up to you. Antennas or something. I might do that. I'm not sure. But if I do, maybe I'll use pipe cleaners or something. But that's completely up to you if you want to do that. And um, I hope you were able to follow along my tutorial okay. And don't forget to check out all my other tutorials too. I have a whole bunch of them on my channel. If you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. And you can check out my Facebook page. And if you make this bag or anything else crochet, it'd be awesome. You can post a picture on my Facebook page. Um, I'd really like to see a picture of it. So would everybody else on there. And until next time, have a good day.